All right, this is my best attempt attempt of the proving of the Pythagorean theorem, and this is going to be picture way. I think this is pretty darn neat. So what I did was I made a triangle ABC and copied it four times and just laid it out like this. You could do it with any triangle, and I invite you to try it with a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or something on your floor. But let me go ahead and label all this. This would be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So the short side will be A, B, C. So I've got everything labeled now. What I'm going to do is find the area of the big square, so the outside square. And if we look at what that looks like, uh, we have a square on the outside that is A plus B units long, A plus B. And this is A plus B units long. And it is, in fact, a square because it's the same dimension, proving that. But the formula for the area of a square is, of course, side squared or length times width or however you want to do it. But the area of the big square of big square equals A plus B squared. Okay, that is true. Now, I am now going to find the area of all the, tri well, of a triangle. So of one triangle. Now remember, nothing's labeled with numbers here. So the formula for the area of a triangle is, of course, one-half base times height, which in ours would be equal to one-half A times B, or we call it one-half AB. How many triangles are there? Well, there is one here, two here, three here, four here. So there's four of them. So we got four times one half AB. And that would, of course, this would cancel. This would be like four over one, two. So this would become two AB. I'll circle that because I'll need that later. That's the area of this shape here. And I uh, will just. Now, I don't want to shade this because I'm afraid I'll just make a big mess, but it's the triangles. So this area here, the area of 1, 2, 3, and 4 added together. The area of the inner square is, of course, another square. Over here, we'll do that. And even though it's turned, um, getting fancy, it's turned like that. And uh, it's C times C, so that's C squared. So the area of small square equals C squared, right? C times C. You can plug any numbers in here you want, and it'll all work. Um, so the area of the big triangle should, watch this, area of big should equal the area of triangles plus area of small square. And that should be big square there. Okay. The area of the big square, just think about it, it makes total sense. The area of the big square should equal the area of all the stuff all five shapes inside, the little square plus all the triangles. Now, substituting these three things I have in circles here, this one, this one, and this one. Let me put little stars beside that in black so it sticks out. So this one, this one, and this one. Here's the area of the big. So the area of the big on the left side of the equals is A plus B squared, which we're going to eventually foil that in a second. The area of the triangles is 2AB, that's this right here, and the area of the small square is C squared. And if we do this math, it should come up with the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We should prove it. Watch. If we FOIL this, I'll do that over here, A plus B times A plus B. First, outside, inside, last. That'd be A squared plus AB plus AB, I'm rolling through this, plus B squared. Just FOIL it. First, outside, inside, last. And you'll see this. Even though it's BA, I turned it around to AB. So 
this would become a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if we sub that in here, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals this 2ab plus c squared. And I think you'll see what happens here. We have this right here and this matching on each side. And whenever that happens, you can cancel them. Some would say, oh, well, what I need to do is subtract. So if we go back to Algebra 1, we can do it this way. Draw a big old line very carefully as I'm running out of space. And it would be A squared plus B squared. That would, of course, cancel. And it would cancel over here equals C squared, Pythagorean theorem. Bam, there it is, a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.